What's up, YouTube, Loop Troop, and fellow new Pokemon Pocketeers? My name is Loopy Fist, and I mostly play Marvel Snap and other card games, stuff like that, but I have to play a lot of things as well. But Pokemon Pocket is coming out soon, if not already right now. Uh, I think it actually just went live, apparently, but iOS may be a little bit slower than Android. Anyways, I wanted to talk about some of the features that you will start out doing um, to get some packs early on when the game first is kind of new to you. Um, because a lot of these things might not know about, and that's what I'm here for. So first off, I wanna talk about the solo battle feature that is in Pokemon Pocket. So basically there's a feature that lets you play against the computer. Um, basically a player versus environment type thing. And they have pre-built decks that you're gonna be going up against. And they're gonna be in these four different leagues. You got, the, you got the Step Up Battle Beginner, the Step Up Battle Intermediate, Step Up Battle Advanced, and Expert Solo Battle. So, I'm gonna start off in the beginner. Basically, um, there are six battles here, six battles here. No, I'm sorry, there's seven battles in each one of these, except for the last one, six in the last one. So, in the Step Up Battle Beginner, you'll see these different decks you can go up against. You can go against them in any order, but they have different challenges for each one. So in this one, you'll see I've already done most of these because I've been playing a game. I had to move to New Zealand um, and I got in, got in about a month early, but I've already completed most of these and you get things for completing these. Uh, first off, you'll see this right here. This little silver thing it has a little bag on it. These are shop tickets and you can actually exchange these for different things um, in the shop. You can actually get some cards. I, honestly, I would say the first thing you wanna exchange these for are gonna be Pokeballs um, and and professor research cards in the uh, shop. Those are some of the most um, universally used cards in the decks. Honestly, you might even say this is a 16 card game and you have those cards because that's what you use to pretty much just pull through on your, on your deck. And I don't think there's a deck that I've seen that doesn't use those cards. So, that's what you're gonna to wanna to use your first ones on. If you were, if it was me, that's what I would do. But you also get some of these little Pokemon hourglasses down here as well. These things will, they for each one of them is worth one hour. And each, you get two packs a day. That's one pack every 12 hours. So you can use these to reduce the time for you to open up your next pack. Um, you get two for for beating these for the first time for each one of these you beat for the first time you will get two in the beginner for a grand total of 14 that's two times seven right makes sense and you're going to end up with uh 49 shop tickets once you beat all these as well so the first one you can actually click right here and you can see the deck the decks are fairly easy to beat. You got like a, um, I think a Ivysaur is the is the biggest Pokemon you can have to run up against in these. So just play it, beat it. It's gonna be very easy to beat the first one. Um, once you get the mechanics down, should be fine. If you need help with mechanics, I have another video in this same playlist um, about mechanics. I might link it up here somewhere, but that is um, good so you can learn how to actually play the game. But they just have some few, some simple things. Put four Pokemon out to play, simple. You know, knock out one of the um, one of your opponent's active Pokemon with a fire type. This is a grass type deck, so beating knocking something out with a fire type is gonna be easy because grass is weak to fire. So once you do all that, you're gonna get some um, extra. You get at least one pack opening because it's gonna be it cost twelve to open up one pack, but you'll have two extra left over. You can use those later to to knock some time off another pack opening. But once you beat all of these. I say, um, and you got a got a good solid deck that you um, that you're proud of. You can move on over to the intermediate. Intermediate is actually going to be just a, a step up. You're going to be playing against some similar decks, um, but they're going to have some slightly tougher Pokemon. So you're going to be having the Venusaur in this one. Just using the Venusaur as a good example. So in this first one, you'll see that you have to knock out your opponent's active Pokemon two times in this first little challenge here. Um, so it went up a little bit higher difficulty, but nothing crazy. These actually, um, they stack over time. So if you do one in one battle, then the next one you do it again, then you'll get that. And this time you're getting four shop tickets per each one. So you're getting four, 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 which is going to be 12 plus an extra one. So that's 13 and that's 13 times seven, which means you're going to have 91 shop tickets once you finish the intermediate. Um, and you're getting three of these um, hourglasses. So you'll end up with 21 once you're done with those. I have my math on the board over here. I'm not just some kind of math whiz. So basically you're gonna end up with 21 of these hourglasses, which means you can open up at least two more packs. Um, 
and you're gonna be a little bit like half a pack away from opening up another one or just a little bit more than half a pack. But like I said, it's there. Each one of those is worth an hour. So you can use, we can wait the time out and then you can actually put those towards open up the packs. So I would jump on these solo battles really fast to do them. Some of them get really hard. I'm not gonna lie. When I first started playing, I liked to play against the computer. And I love this mode because you don't have something like this in Marvel Snap where you can play against the computer unless there's a bot that you get randomly mashed up against, you know? And I hate to compare this to Marvel Snap, but it's where I come from. So that's what I'm gonna compare it to. I love if you have a mode, you can just hop back in because I can play these right now. And I can just test, I could test out a deck if I wanted to. And here's the advanced one. On the advanced, as you beat these for the first time, you're going to get five for each one. And that's gonna equal up to 35 of these, which means you're only one hourglass away from three tickets. That's three packs. I mean, I'm sorry, not three. That's not three tickets. That's three packs. Cause 36, that'd be 12, right? So you'd be able to open up three packs if you once once you do these basically. So that's a lot of packs. Once you start to um, get all of these, um, it's a lot. And even in experts, you're gonna end up with 48. Um, now in expert, there are only six battles, but these are tough. These are tough. Just, I haven't even finished all of these. Um, I've, I've beaten them all, but I haven't done all the challenges. So if I was you guys, I would, uh, continue trying to build up your decks, find some good decks. And I'm going to be going through some of these and showing you guys some decent decks to play against. So you can actually have a little of a leg up against the CPU. So you can try to get some extra packs. Um, but yeah, like honestly, this one might be the hardest one. The Starmie EX and Greninja deck. This deck is super stacked. I mean, it's super tough. It has two EX Starmies, two EX Articunos, two Greninja. It's a very well built deck. Man, it's just hard. And you'll see right here, like I said, two Pokeballs, two Professor Researchers. Most decks are gonna have that. And you can go buy those from the shop. Right, like right now, if you if you have the um, the shop tickets to get them. You also get shop tickets just from playing the game and experience. You're also gonna be, once you open up packs, you're gonna be getting experience too and leveling up. And you're also gonna, when you level up, you also get packs to open. In the early stages, you are going to be opening up a lot of packs. It's going to dwindle down as you continue playing, but for the most part, in the early stages, you open up a lot. Um, something else that I wanna mention in here, um, it's not, it's not like super important, but there is something called shine dust that you get. Um, There's a smaller amount that you'll be obtaining um, throughout the uh, throughout the earlier little challenges too, like the beginner, intermediate, and the advanced. Right here, you're getting 200 per each um, victory, first time victory. Remember, you don't have to do all these; just beat it one time, and you get this little thing down here. Um, and what that shine dust is, it's used to actually add flair to your cards. Um, and I actually like this system. So if you come down here, these are all the Pokemon cards that I have. And you see, I have a number in the bottom left hand corner of these. That's how many I have, right? So if you click right here on this little search, I like to sort by duplicates. And now it's sorting in a way that's silly because it's only showing the things that I have one copy of, which is not good. If I click on it again, it actually does it in the reverse order. So you'll see like for um, Clobopus, I have 27 copies of Clobopus. Oh my God. Um, but you can actually use these in two different ways. You can either, um, I'm sorry, you can eventually you're going to be able to trade You'll be able to trade these cards to other individuals. And um, I, we don't really know the system yet, but it's coming out soon. The game's just made launch, so we'll see how it's gonna happen. But you can also kind of dust these. So I have all of, I have 23 copies of this Psyduck, right? Okay, cool. If I click on obtain flare, it's going to um, ask me like, okay, do you wanna exchange three of these and 50 of your shine dust to add this effect? And I'm like, sure, let's do it. And it says cards used to obtain flare will disappear. I'm like, yeah, sure. Basically we're dusting these cards. I'm gonna have 20, 20 side ups left. So we're gonna go through this animation. And now my side up has a little shine to it, right? And that's pretty cool. It looks different than a regular standard um, uh, side up, but that's not it. 
you can continue doing this and i'm gonna i'm gonna go through the full um the full dusting of this psyduck real quick because i have enough for it so this next one you can go with the pokemon uh the pokeball uh flare cosmetic this one costs three and it costs a little bit extra shine dust it's still gonna it still costs the same amount of cards but it costs 75 of the shine dust so now i have these pokeballs all over my psyduck I think it's kind of cute, you know, it's cool. And you can you can exchange these if you want to. We go to the next one, we got these stars. Um, and you see this one says battle. So, and I have a ton of shine dust just from playing the game too. That you get these a lot. Like just playing the game, you get a lot of stuff. So this is a battle one. So when it actually, I think it's when it attacks or when it gets laid down, it's gonna have that little effect. So we got that and now, for the final one, and this is be my this will be my first one that I actually have. So this is a cosmetic. It costs 225 shine dust. I'm gonna have 11 Psyduck left. And there we go. Now my Psyduck has these pretty cute kawaii little stars, and I think they stay on it even when it's just laid down. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna edit a deck real quick and add Psyduck into it. That's not gonna make very much sense, but it doesn't matter. Where is my Psyduck? We'll add both of our Psyducks down there. Oh, okay, there we go. So when you add it into the deck, you click right here and you can choose which flare you wanna put on it. So you can have battle flare or you can have a cosmetic flare. I like the cosmetic cause it just sits there on it. And there we go. And I can change this one to also have a different flare. So I can make this one be the battle. So I have two different flares on both of my different side ups. So now they are the same, but they look a little different, which is pretty cool, pretty legit. Um, so that's how you set it. It's in the bottom right once you do it. I haven't messed around with flare um, in the game since I got here because I didn't really have a whole lot of uh, cars with a bunch of duplicates, but it's a really it seems to be a pretty cool uh, system. And I'm going to hit cancel so that my deck doesn't get messed up. All right, so those are the main things that I wanted to talk about with the solo battle, uh, just for the quick, just for a quick, you know, little knowledge check for all the new people coming on. Um, I hope it really helps you guys understand kind of like the importance of having a system like that, because it's really fun to get started. And you don't, sometimes you don't want to play against people that know how to play the game and they're like just kicking you all around. So I think that this is a great feature. So try it out. If you like it, I'm gonna be posting more po um, pocket content. I'm gonna be showing people how to go through these different uh, solo battles and how to beat them once you get certain cards um, and you know, when, when's best to like try them out. So you should definitely subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. You guys have a fantastic time and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.